My name is Solomon Ratt, and I've been teaching at First Nations University uh, since 1986. I've been teaching Cree language here, the Y in the Y dialect. I am originally a TH Taylor speaker from Stanley Mission, Saskatchewan. I created a, a, a Facebook group uh, a couple of years ago, a few years ago actually, called Cree Language Videos. And on the video on the site, I will um, post videos of Cree language lessons, you know, simple Cree language lessons like introductions and things you like to do, you know, like hobbies and days of the week, weather terms, and other other stuff like that. And I've also posted traditional stories on that page of our, of our stories of Wisaki Jack and all that. So I've, I've got those posted on there too. And we've got 3,000 members on that page, and other people have been posting videos there too, dealing with language. I was teaching a class online, and uh, and we needed some videos for the students that are out in the sites. And so I created the page for the, for the students to access um, on their own, so they could study the language. Yes, the ideal situation of language is to be able to teach the language, leave the classroom, go out to the community, and talk the language. That'd be ideal. That's not the way it is. That's not the way the world is. So students need to have extra time where they could access information, access the language. So social media has that option to be able to allow students to come in and access the language files, language videos on that site on their own time. So they could hear the language spoken, see the language written down and practice the language. A lot of people share the videos, and a lot of people also have also said that they really like the videos when uh, uh, to to aid with their language development. You know, because in the classrooms we'll do some exercises in the classrooms, and but the classrooms at most were only there for an hour and fifteen minutes, uh, for two days a week. So, so the students have uh, have told me that it's so handy to ha to be able to go into the site and be able to hear the language and, and review what we've taken in class. And they get to know that stuff a lot better. And they're able to do it themselves the next time they come to class. So the feedback's been very good for this site. I teach the Y dialect in Cree. And so the video sites, the sites the, on Facebook is, uh, sometimes I post videos on in the Y dialect, and sometimes I post videos in the TH dialect. And uh, but I always say which dialect they are. They're they're going to be in, and it's easy to recognize the dialects anyway. And but for the most part, the videos are all in Y dialect because that's what we teach here at the university is Y dialect. Yeah, there is a lot of Orange Indian band uh, who uh, who have been posting videos there uh, in the past within the past few months. They've been posting videos, and uh, Charlie then. Uh, who works with the Lateral Engineer Band, creates videos and posts them on various Cree sites on, on social media, including Cree language videos, uh, Cree word of the day, Cree language resources. Those things are, have all, uh, they all contribute uh, to language development. I think the social media will contribute a lot to language development and uh, it can only grow. Like I'm surprised they've got 3,000 members in the Cree language videos. In uh, the uh, Cree language of the day, Cree word of the day, day phone, uh, day page. I'm just thinking, <laughs> Cree language of the day, Cree word of the day. We have uh, over 5,000 members there, and so it's been growing. And the Cree word of the day was uh, created by a friend of mine in in northern Alberta. Wayne Jackson, and he was surprised that it grew so fast, and it was the first one on social media site that was there, and then we created the other ones. Uh, somebody in Alberta created Cree language resources, and there's Cree language resources there, and then I uh, and I followed suit with the Cree language videos, but there are other sites on social media that deal with Cree language instruction. So it's good to hear. It's good to hear the language, and it's good to see the language written. It's important to me because there's uh, very, 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 very few people who speak the language still. 
uh, especially the younger generation, they don't um, they don't speak the language. Most of them don't speak the language, and uh, so they have no access to the language a lot of times. There's especially the city, the city people. You know, they don't hear the language anywhere in the community unless they go to social gatherings and when there's a few people who don't do the language. So the only place they will get access to the language is the social media where there's where there's spoken video. And uh, that's why it's so important to be able to carry on this work so we can hear the language spoken. Yes, it's, uh, because more and more each day the language is being lost by, by lots of people. People are not picking it up or not being being taught in the homes, and that's the thing. They are not being taught in the homes where it should be taught. So they have no nothing to go on except for the social media outlets. The videos include stories, traditional stories, of, uh, of uh, Cree tricksters, uh, Wisaki text, so there's quite a few of those. And then we have uh, other videos that deal with activities, like hobbies. What do you like to do? You know, and we talked about that. What do you like to do on Saturday? You do, okay, I like to do this, and you do that in Cree. We all do that in Cree. And also, the videos also include language lessons, like introductions, and uh, social gatherings. You know, we make up a, a social gathering, an episode of a social gathering thing, and various types of verbs operating in various functions like I, you, he, and she, and all that stuff, and conjugation patterns. So those are, videos are on those. So you, they're color-coded also, going from tense to tense. And so it makes it, thing, makes it easier. So you see the videos, you see the written part of the videos, and you hear the audio along with it, along with the videos. And uh, days of the week are covered, cover, uh, weather terms are covered, normal everyday activities, they're covered for today, tomorrow, and the past, all that kind of stuff. It's good to hear those traditional stories in the original language. Uh, those are pe people who are fluent in the language. They'll understand the humor in those languages. The humor gets lost when it gets translated into English, unfortunately. You know, so it's important to hear that in the original language. And the translators of the, uh, of the stories have to figure out how to bring the humor out for the non non Cree uh, speakers, and it's hard to do because it's hard to have that kind of stuff. But it's so essential to have those traditional stories because the traditional stories hold all our lessons on how to be in this world, how to survive in this world, how to get along with one another, and they also include our responsibilities to one another, like parents to the child, and parents to the grandparents, and all that stuff. All those. Lessons are included in the stories. Like social media will never replace the teacher, and never will it, it will never replace the face-to-face -face contact you have with students. You know the key to traditional education is the face-to-face -face contact teachers and students have with one another, and being involved with each other within the community, and as they learned, just like my parents did with me when I was growing up, learning, teaching me all these things. And that's the key to traditional uh, indigenous education. Social media can be can help in that because they they could uh, the students can access that and students like going on social media a lot of people like so being so social media so that's where we tap into that and uh, and contribute to language development that way social media makes it accessible to for review for for review for extra stuff extra curricular activities to, to be able to listen to it to stuff uh, social media is wonderful that way but it can never replace the face-to-face -face that we ha that we so need to have. The only thing I could say is to just keep at it. You're going to be laughed at. Unfortunately, that that is a reality. People do get laughed at for mispronouncing words, and uh, and let that, don't let that laughter get in the way of your learning. People will laugh, but eventually, like. People have to understand, when people started talking, when you and I, when I was a baby, I did not start talking right away perfectly with perfect pronunciation. That's the same thing we have to look at. People are learning the language. Of course, they're going to mispronounce the words. Mind you, it's, sometimes it's really funny when they mispronounce the words and end up, end up cursing. 
And then I laugh, you know. Unfortunately, I laugh, but, but then I'll tell them why I laughed. But then most of the time, the students will will say, oh, yeah, okay, I'll watch that next time. The next, actually, next time they don't make that same mistake, that they don't give up. And that's the thing. The laughter will be there, but don't let it discourage you. You know, it's, it's part of learning. Indigenous education means learning everything about what I can around my, surra my surroundings, around the, wor the world in which I live in. I have to learn from my surroundings and live off the land, you know, learning from the land, learning from people around me, learning from my younger people, all the younger people, learning from my elders, everything. Everything's in there. That's what Indigenous education means to me. For Indigenous education, I hope there's, got, got, uh, there's going to be a lot of... Um, of um, education done out in the lands, you know, learning off the land. Like we've, uh, the past two years, we've been going to uh, traditional Cree storytelling camps during the midterm break in February, where we go into uh, a camp where we stay for the week and we tell stories at night and we participate in, uh, in traditional activities during the day. And we do this in Cree. And, uh, those are the kind of things that, that need to be done in the schools for Indigenous education. And it's happening. People are taking their students out on the land and doing activities out there. And uh, it's just really wonderful to see, to see this. You know, something I, I grew up not knowing that it was in the school system. I knew it when I was in my, with my parents during the summer months, but I did not participate in any traditional activities while I was in school, in the city school, in the residential school. We didn't do that. But nowadays, the schools are getting involved in outdoor education of traditional activities, which is really good. And if they keep that up and bring in the language along with that and, uh, and realize that you cannot separate language from... from uh, from culture, and there's great hope that we can revive the language and we can revive the traditions. I'd like to see more programs. I'd like to see more videos online, uh, not necessarily just my site, but there are other social media sites that deal with uh, language, language videos, which is really nice to see. And uh, one of my former students has contributed to uh, Cree language videos. Uh, and uh, what he's done is basically he's taken a video that we made of our um, Cree storytelling, with Cree storytelling camp in February. And so he uh, closed captioned this, this telling of the story. Here I'm telling the story and he's got closed captions in Cree. And he did all this work by himself. And uh, he's a former student of mine. And he, he posted that video on Cree language videos. That kind of stuff we need, we need to hear and we need to see to be able to help language development. And I'm hopeful that other people will be, will be will contribute. And more and more people are contributing videos to other sites, and it's good to see that. The interest is there.